less than a year after it passed and Maryland's 2022 juvenile justice reform bill, which prohibits police and prosecutors from criminally charging kids under 13, is under attack here on day one. The pendulum has definitely gone too far. Republican delegate Kathy Saliga is promising legislation to undo some reforms after a 12 year old was released without charges of any kind after bringing a handgun to school in Anne Arundel County last week. Zilliga spoke today before news broke that another middle schooler was caught with a stun gun in Charles County this week. When you have a 12 year old show up at school with a handgun, a clip and ammunition and there's no consequence, it's too far. They need consequences so they don't turn into adult offenders. The law that passed last year, there's no even a record. So they commit a crime, they go to the police station and they're released to a parent or guardian. But the architects of the reform disagree, saying the law now under attack does not direct police to do nothing. Rather, it gives police new authority to refer cases to juvenile services for treatment. Democrat Luke Clippinger sponsored the reform bill. What we did in the last session is we joined states across the country in, in uh, deciding not to charge kids who are 12 and under. We've seen what happened at Anne Arundel County, um, and I'm going to be talking to the, to the Anne Arundel County Police Department tomorrow about what they've experienced, so we'll hear from them. Clippinger told me he is open to potential changes in the juvenile justice reform bill. Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz has criticized the juvenile justice system as catch and release. A juvenile curfew imposed after the reform bill passed in Maryland is still in effect in Prince George's County. In Annapolis, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.